Hey guys, it's Rob with an update video because I haven't put out a video for a couple weeks now and there's a good reason behind that. It's not that I don't want to, it's just that uh, I was busy uh, working on, well I guess you could say my largest defect uh, yet. And the truth is, for some reason as I work out my defects, I for some reason I'm able to see these surface features clearer it's just the truth that's I'm just <clears throat> trying to be honest that's what I noticed and um, this basically is an update to let you know that I will be putting out a video shortly it, it probably might be a few days I'm not sure but the video that I do put out it should be pretty significant and it should be worth your time because uh if I just give you a little demonstration here I can show you already what I'm seeing okay we already know my claims about Antarctica being the image of uh, rotation I mean that's kind of anybody could see this you could see that this is shaped like a propeller you could see that this is swept this way and this is swept that way and the only reason that that would be swept like that is if this was spinning counterclockwise and if you look behind this peninsula you can see that there's a swept area right here that's smooth that's a dead giveaway that this came to a screeching halt as it solidified now you can see that this is actually spiraling I can I can just see that I can see that this is the process of spiraling right here and which is which is a dead giveaway that electromagnetism is the result of these images this is something that the electric universe theory would support but what they don't know and what most science has all of science not just most all of science cannot see this or f seem to figure this out but the surface features actually reveal the pr the the process that created our planet with its own images if you just simply follow this you can tell that this is connected right here but you can see that it's also connected over here and here which makes me think that this right here rotates counterclockwise just like Antarctica you can see the connection between the two the lines uh, running from one to the other is a dead giveaway that they're related but not only are they related if you look in here if this was to rotate this is what they consider a subduction zone but I don't think that that's really what it is I think subducting is just a, a consequence of what this is I think this this rotates counterclockwise and as it does this fits inside of there you can see that there's a kind of a cleared out area right here which then also reveals rotation because you could see the debris that's been flung in a certain direction this may fit in here you could see the similarities in the shapes and everything right here except for this ends right here where this continues on so this I'm almost dead positive is the image of the inside of well what I'm thinking is a vortex which is I think this right here but there'll be more on this um, a lot more actually because I took a quick peek at some of my my older stuff and w what I see now is completely different and I, I can see that I missed um, very important things that I should have showed you and I plan on showing you that in the next video so this is just my update for the people that are interested in the truth and interested in what science cannot see because they can't see this they can't see through the plate tectonics <laughs> they they're so worried about what's under these invisible plates that they can't even see what's on the surface of our planet and what it means but that doesn't mean that you you have to so I hope you guys um, you know watch my next video and um, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Thanks.